Did you know you can create a full marketing information system in platforms like HubSpot, MailChimp, SendingBlue, Twilio, and you can connect these tools to your forms? Follow the step-by-step -step tutorial and start using it for yourself. So hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful content and let's get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to open our Formula dashboard and create a new form. So let's click on create blank. Great, now we can see the editor page and the menu on the left where we can drag and drop to add different fields and options to our form. But today, let's create a simple form asking for the user's information by adding a name field and a single choice field, for example. The single choice field, we are going to name it how much do you love food and add options below to it. Awesome, now let's add an email field to ask the audience so that way we will be able to connect the form to MailChimp later on. Before we go to Zapier, let's submit the form so we can use the data for Zapier. Great, now let's head over to Zapier and here we're going to connect Formulu to MailChimp. When there's a new response in Formulu, find or create a subscriber so when they exit, the app will update it with the submitted data and if they don't exit, we will create them in the MailChimp user base. Now let's authenticate the accounts because Zapier needs to know which accounts you're using so remember to log in both apps. Good, now just follow these steps. Select email and name from the form fields. And now test the whole connection. Perfect, now let's create a condition so that we can segment our audience. So let's click on the plus button between Formula and MailChimp to create a condition filter. Great, so now let's say for example, if the response of the single choice field was yes, then continue to MailChimp action. This means that only people who answered yes will be shown in MailChimp. Now we can select food lover as a tag here. So let's test the connection again. Perfect, as we can see, it works. So now let's publish this app here. Let's go back to Formulu now and submit the form again to test once more. So let's do one for the answer yes to I love food and one for no. Awesome, let's go to MailChimp now. And as we can see, the submission with the yes answer is synced to MailChimp and the submission with the answer no is not synced. And that's it. Hopefully these tips and tricks helped you and you can now use Zapier to segment your audience. You can sign up at Formulu for free and start boosting your audience engagement and grow even faster. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Happy Formuluing!